you can overcome betrayal with trust. Our scripture reading today comes to us from the book of Psalms, Psalm 55, verses 22 and 23. Cast your burden on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. Or cast what he has given you on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. But you, O God, will cast them down into the lowest pit. The bloodthirsty and treacherous shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in you. Psalm 55 is an interesting psalm. Psalm 55 is a psalm written on the occasion of an individual praying for God's help after being betrayed by a friend. Now that leads to some confusion here in the verses we read today. Verse 22, we're not sure who's it addressed to, whose voice it is, because the psalm seems to be of the voice of the betrayal and then a response, the voice of, of the friend and then a response and the counter. And that seems to be whether this cast your burdens upon the Lord is addressed to the one who's petitioning by someone else and then followed by the psalmist or that this is the petitioner in the first place saying it. So we don't know whose voice is speaking here, whether it's some of what the former friend said as assurances to get over it, or it's assurances that the petitioner, the one who's writing the complaint in the song, is seeking. What you think, though, does become your worldview. And more often than not, we look for the confirmations of what we already think. But we're given this assurance that God is with us. That whatever burdens we carry are not ours alone. That we can cast them off of ourselves and upon him. That we can move forward even in the midst of betrayal. Now, of course, the writer of the psalm is saying that you will not let these people get away with it, but I will continue to trust in you. Have you been disappointed with God at times? We all have had that moment where we've thought, God, were you there? Yes, God was. Whatever burdens we carry, whatever situations we encounter, even in the midst of a friend's betrayal, we can have the assurance that God is there ready to help, ready to aid, ready to keep his promises. Our, pro our problems will not overtake us if we share our problems to God. Let us pray. God, thank you for caring for me. You know all of my troubles, and you promise that they will not overtake me. Please help me to continue to look at you when I am burdened. In Jesus' name, amen. Blessings to you and yours this day and always. Goodbye.